on ISRO has successfully launched its sun mission Aditya L1 this morning. It will now reach its destination in 125 days. India's first solar space observatory mission was launched on the PSLV XL from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota at 11:50 a.m. this morning. Uh, the separation of Aditya L1 and its injection into an elliptical orbit around the Earth was successful and took about 63 minutes. Well, to talk more about this mission, we're joined by NDTV's Pallav Bagla and uh, Pallav. So another a successful launch, another feather in ISRO's cap. Tell us about this launch. It took 63 minutes, and it's going to be a while before. Uh, this is uh, placed, you know, in, in the correct orbit that it needs to be. Oh, one after the other, ISRO has been giving us successful missions. First, the successful soft landing of Vikram lander nearer the south pole of the moon. And now, uh, the l successful launch of the Aditya L1 mission. And so, it's right. It's a moonwalk to a sun dance and all happening within days of each other and happening just a few days ahead of G20 summit in India, I think the, the optics is absolutely right that India has become a space power to reckon with. But the Aditya L1 satellite is a sophisticated space observatory, the first space-based solar observatory uh, to be launched by India. It is made in India by Indian scientists and it has a double role. One, it will do scientific experiments. It has seven uh, uh, scientific instruments on board. It will have a continuous 24 hour, 365 a day view of the sun. And it will also uh, forecast and warn if there are solar storms and if there is solar wind which is charged very heavily coming towards the earth. The moments which sometimes I call when the sun gets angry. So Aditya, satellite will help forecast and keep India's space assets safe and also give a deeper understanding because the sun has so many mysteries surround it. It's still a scientific enigma. We see it every day. It governs our life. There would be no life on earth. The earth is in a Goldilocks zone uh, where it's absolutely uh, life can th uh, thrive. But all life on earth depends on the sun. So understanding the sun is an extremely important step. And today's success is really a Surya Namaskar by ISRO to Aditya. Right. And Pallav, just to understand this uh, further, NASA has also done a sun mission, uh, something similar. But tell us more about that. And, uh, you know, and now we have our own uh, sun mission. Sure. There are other agencies also which have done missions to the sun. Uh, nobody really goes to the sun sure, because yes. everything would get burnt there. The temperatures are so high. So Aditya mission will not actually go to the sun, but only travel 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth towards the sun and have a continuous look at the sun. So it's just 1% it's a distance of 1% between Earth and uh, the Sun. The Sun is 150 million kilometers away. But to be able to have an unobstructed view outside Earth's atmosphere and be able to do study science there is, is a, a moment which Indian scientists have been waiting for with uh, bated breath. And for the scientific community in India, this uh, past fortnight has been a, a great boon and a, a giant leap. Uh, first data from the surface of the moon nearer the South Pole and now Indian robotic satellite heading towards the sun. So the scientific community and the astronomy community in India is very, very excited. Right, and this, uh, the Sun mission, uh, t you know, uh, taking place shortly after our Moon mission, was it planned this way? You know, one success <laughs> after the other, one wants to know. <laughs> and different teams working on it, obviously. I asked this question to our Science Minister, Dr. Jitendra Singh, mm. as to why we are doing uh, Sun mission so close to the uh, Moon mission. And he told me very nicely, Pallav, there is no conspiracy. This is <laughs> all decided in heavens. Now, when he say, talks about heavens, it literally means that it is decided due to planetary positions. Uh, when we, India needed to do the Chandrayaan-3, 
it had to do it at a point where the moon was close enough to be approached and the sun mission had to be done at a particular point uh, but both has to be ready the chandrayaan 3 satellite has been in the making for more than 4 years and the aditya satellite has been in the making for more than a decade so it just happens that they get bunched together but the bunching is very helpful for india and for india's leadership it comes just days before g20 imagine so many heads of state are coming and you have india satellites not just orbiting the earth you have two satellites orbiting moon with two robotic instruments on the moon surface and one heading all the way to the sun it shows this is the 21st century india this is the 21st century india which is aiming to become a developed country by 2047 and you can't become a developed country unless you have a sophisticated base of sound science and technology and the indian space research organization is leading from the front